Have you ever been in a situation where you knew someone was struggling, they were in pain, or they just weren't doing something quite right? You like them, you may even love them, but you didn't know what to say. Or maybe you had said something in the past and you chose not to say anything again because they didn't respond very well. Well, those very same people are the people who need your input. We don't know what we don't know. And it's really important to take the time to show you care by helping someone through their struggle as opposed to sitting on the sidelines while they struggle. Now what I mean is, I'm not necessarily saying go and pay their bills or go and rescue them if they're having wild nights at the club and you have to get them from getting DWIs every night. That's not what I'm talking about. But think about work situations where perhaps the way someone comes off when they're requesting information or the way they're writing the email is offensive to someone. Maybe they just don't know. A lot of times we assume people don't care, but that's not necessarily true. Think about in the home environment. Maybe someone isn't accustomed or maybe they haven't been the most effective at speaking with a child or dealing with a teenager or maybe even you. If you really care about that person, care about them enough to think about what you could say and how you could say it and what you could do to at least steer them in the right direction. You don't have to be a parent, but you could position yourself as a coach and simply ask for permission. You know, I noticed a few things and I really care about you. Would you mind if I shared a couple of things with you which I think would help you be more successful? Or would you be willing to listen to a couple of things I have to share? I think it would really help you if you're willing to listen to them. Those are great ways to start. It doesn't mean it's going to work. It doesn't mean they're going to listen. But you can't give up. The other thing is you don't want to put your nose where it's not wanted or needed. So there are times when you must simply sit back and be silent and be proactive where you can, but not necessarily get involved when you see people doing things, especially repeated behavior. If you know they already know what they're doing and they are being responsible for the consequence. I'm Jolena Johnson. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much and have an absolute good day.